Hello, I'm JT Quicks. I love you all, and you're all awesome, okay? Uh, today we're going to talk about how Satan started a war against heaven, okay? Because heaven is at war against Satan, okay? All right? So, Satan started a war against heaven a long time ago, okay? I delivered my soul to heaven, okay? I'm in the war for heaven, okay? All right? I'm in a war for heaven, and I'm gathering intelligence for you. I'm explaining the truth to you that Satan started a war against heaven, okay? All right? Back when Satan started this war against heaven, he created fear, okay? He created fear. He created the fear spell. That's when the war started against heaven, okay? This happened back before civilization, okay? All right, because back before civilization, yous were delivering your souls to heaven before civilization, okay? Because you did not live in fear, okay? And that's why you were delivering your souls to heaven. You actually believed in heaven and you delivered your souls to heaven back then, before civilization, okay? That's when uh, Satan started a war against heaven he created fear, okay? So back when you were caveman, cavewoman, and Indians, things like that, you were delivering your soul to heaven because you had to survive in the wild. That's why you were delivering your soul to heaven. In order to survive in the wild, you had to believe in yourself, never ever give up to win. That kept your souls in heaven while you were alive, okay? All right? Uh, that's pretty much how that goes. Uh, what happened was, my soul entered heaven 10 years ago, okay? All right? 10 years ago, my soul entered heaven. That's where Jesus told me the truth, what happened to him, okay? The truth I learned from heaven about Jesus Christ was he was tortured and murdered before he could tell you how to deliver your souls to heaven, okay? He was tortured and murdered before he could tell you how to deliver your souls to heaven, okay? You know, he was tortured and murdered by prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards, okay? All right, prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards defend Satan. They live in fear, okay? That's why he was attacked, okay? And that's what creates prejudice and hate is fear. Prejudice and hate is created from fear, okay? And that's what attacked Jesus Christ, okay? Before he could tell you how to deliver your souls to heaven. That means he was sent here for a reason. He was sent here to show you how to deliver your souls to heaven. That's why he was sent here, okay? I followed Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way when I delivered my soul to heaven, okay? Because I'm in a war for heaven and I'm gathering intelligence for you so you can deliver your souls to heaven the correct way and follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way, okay? All right? When Jesus was tortured and murdered by its prejudice and hate trolls and cowards, he won, okay? How did he win? Because he never gave up to win against evil. He always believed in himself, and he never gave up to win against evil. Okay? His love was conquering evil while he was alive. He was in the war for heaven. He never gave up to win. That kept his soul in heaven, because his soul was already in heaven while they were torturing and murdering him. So he never gave up. That kept his soul in heaven. He never gave up to win. That means he won. Okay? That's the truth I received. Okay? So, all right? When you believe in yourself and you never ever give up to win against evil, that removes your fear. Okay? Because Satan created fear. That's why we gotta remove the fear. Okay? And as you remove this fear, you become a non-sinner. 
and you automatically behave. Things like that, okay? So, that's the truth about Jesus Christ. The, the war for heaven, Satan started a war against heaven, okay? This is what created things like, you know, that this created prejudice and hate. Evil is created from prejudice and hate, okay? Terrorism is created from prejudice and hate, okay? All this and all the chaos we see, that's created from prejudice and hate, which is all created from fear, okay? All the bad stuff we see going on around the world is created from fear, okay? Mental illness and suicide, that's created from evil. That is the causes and effect between the forces of love and evil. When you see mental illness and suicide, okay? All right? What causes suicide is when a person's in the war for heaven, okay? They want to escape the pain. They're in the war for heaven. They're being attacked by evil because they're defending heaven and they don't know it. So they're in the war for heaven and they don't know it, okay? And they want to escape the pain. So what do they do? What do they do? They commit suicide because they want to escape the pain. Okay? We don't want you to commit suicide. We want you, we want to prevent suicide. Okay? Through never giving up to win. Okay? We want you to never give up to win. We want you to always believe in yourself. Never give up to win. That will prevent suicide. Okay? When you get attacked by evil. Okay? Uh, things like that. All right? Uh, all the bad stuff we see going on around the world is created from fear. Okay? All the bad stuff. Okay? All right? It's all created from fear. Satan is fear. Okay? Fear is Satan. Okay? This must be removed. And in order to remove this, you have to believe in yourself and never give up to win against evil. This will make your love powerful and unbreakable, just like Jesus Christ. Okay? This will make your love powerful and unbreakable, just like Jesus Christ, when you believe in yourself and you never give up to win against evil. Okay? This is what I'm showing you. Okay? All right? I'm in a war for heaven. I am powerful, unbreakable love. Evil cannot break my love. My soul stays in heaven. I do not bow and break to prejudice and hate. I only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love in heaven. I only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love in heaven. That's it. Okay? I do not bow and break to prejudice and hate. I learned the difference between prejudice and hate and heaven is what I did. I learned the difference through believing in myself and never giving up to win against evil. I learned the difference automatically. I never read the Bible. Okay? I'm gathering intelligence for you. So we can make your love powerful and unbreakable. Just like Jesus Christ. We want you to follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. This is a war. Heaven is at war. Okay? Satan hid this from you. Satan hid this from you. With his fear and his evil. Okay? With his fear and corruption. He hid this from you. This was hidden from you. When I removed all my fear and corruptions, when I started seeing the truth from heaven. Okay? So. Alright? I told you the truth about Jesus Christ. We know that Satan started a war against heaven. That's the truth. Okay? Alright? Uh, I'm going to explain to you how to deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? Uh, how an animal delivers its soul to heaven. All animals win when they die. Okay? Why? Because they live in the wild. All right? All right? All animals live in the wild. That's why they win when they die. Okay? All animals, they, they believe in themselves. They never give up to win, to survive in the wild. Okay? That keeps their souls in heaven while they are alive. That's why an animal is unconditional love. Okay? Because its soul's already in heaven while it's alive. Okay? All right? 
Uh, that explains that, uh, I guess, the past. Uh, okay? Well, it works the same way with a human, okay? With a human, what you're going to do is you're going to believe in yourself and you're never going to give up to win against evil because now you're living in civilization, okay? As civilization traveled throughout the land, so did the fear and the corruption, okay? So did the fear and the corruption travel throughout the land, okay? This is what kept your souls out of heaven, okay? All right? This is where you stopped delivering your souls to heaven was the beginning of civilization, is when you stopped delivering your souls to heaven. Back when you were caveman, cavewoman, Indians, things like that, you were delivering your souls to heaven because you had to survive in the wild. Okay? All right? Now I'm going to explain how a human delivers their soul to heaven the correct way and how to follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. Okay? Here's what you do. You always believe in yourself. Okay? You never give up to win against evil. Okay? All right? That, that's what you do. That's going to start removing your fear. Okay? When you start removing your fear, you're going to start building courage and confidence. Okay? All right? Okay? You're going to start building courage and confidence. Okay? You're going to, as your love gets stronger and stronger and stronger as it, and, it, and increases, and your love gets more powerful and unbreakable, you're going to stop prejudging and hating. Automatically, you will stop prejudging and hating, okay? You will start knowing the difference between good and bad, or good and evil. You'll start knowing the difference, okay? Because you're going to believe in yourself and you're never going to give up the win against evil, okay? And you got to do what they say can't be done, because that, that's what Satan does. Satan uses his fear and his evil to keep your love weak and broken, okay? So you got to do what they say can't be done. Like, the laws of prejudice is things like, you can't, you cannot do this, you can't do that, uh, that's impossible. Those are the laws of prejudice. You know, Satan's the one that's telling you that you can't deliver your soul to heaven. That's coming from Satan. That doesn't come from heaven, okay? All right? There ain't nothing you can't do, okay? All right? You got to remove your fear. As you remove your fear, you will overcome that. Okay? All right? And we, we only encourage you from heaven. Okay? All right? We want to remove your fear and your corruption. Okay? All right? We're going to re start removing that. Uh, we don't fear God. Okay? They got you fearing God. Don't fear God. Okay? God loves you. God prays for you. God chill eats your soul to heaven. Okay? And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? We got your back if you get attacked by evil. Okay? All right? There's no judgment. There is no judgment in love. No judgment. Okay? There's absolutely no judgment in love. Okay? There's no judgment in the forces of love. Okay? I do not prejudge and hate because I am the forces of love. Okay? All right? I am the... I am powerful, unbreakable love. This is why I do not prejudge and hate. Okay? So, all right. But I'm allowed to defend heaven, okay? Uh, what else? Um, you start to see the truth from heaven, okay? You'll start to see the truth from heaven. But as you remove your fear and your corruption, okay? You start to, you start to automatically behave, okay? When you believe in yourself and you never give up to win against evil, you will start to automatically behave. You start to become a non-sinner is what you do. Okay? And as you become a non-sinner, okay? Right? As you become a non-sinner, you never give up to win, okay? And you always believe in yourself. And you've got to overcome the laws of prejudice, which is things like, I can't, uh, I cannot, that's impossible, that... Yes, you can. We know you can. Yes, you can. Okay? All right? All right? Okay? We only encourage you from heaven. Okay? And as, as you're doing that, you're removing all your fear and your corruption. Okay? This removes your prejudice and your hate. 
This removes your prejudgment and your hate, okay? And as your prejudgment and hate get removed, your soul will enter heaven, okay? Because you become a non-sinner, okay? So now your soul becomes a non-sinner, your soul enters heaven, okay? When your soul enters heaven, you win, okay? You conquered evil, you win, okay? All right? Here's what you did when you did this, okay? You defended your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven, okay? Heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. That's what heaven is. And that's where you want your soul to go, okay? All right? Uh, heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. And when you're defending heaven, you are defending love and freedom with the forces of love. Because that's what heaven is. Heaven is a pure love and freedom. So when you defend heaven, you are defending pure love and freedom with the forces of love. You're going to become an advocate for pure love and freedom. Okay? All right? Okay? Things that go against heaven are socialism, communism, dictatorships, all that goes against heaven. Okay? All that goes against heaven and it keeps your soul out of heaven, okay? Things like, okay? So, I just told you what heaven is and I told you what the opposite of heaven is, okay? Um, yeah, heaven is a tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul, okay? Things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships is what's keeping your soul out of heaven, okay? Propaganda and lies, things like that, is that's what's keeping your soul out of heaven. That's what's keeping you in fear and corruption and fear and evil. Okay? That's what's keeping your soul out of heaven. You have to overcome that, okay? And after you get your soul in heaven, you win, okay? You win, all right? You're probably going to see the truth from heaven, okay? You're not going to live in fear anymore because once you remove all your fear, you're going to be fearless. And you're going to know your soul's in heaven. When you know your soul's in heaven, you're not going to fear death. Because you know you're going to win when you die. When you know you're going to win when you die, that is like the greatest feeling in the world. But you know what? You know you're going to win when you die. That means your love is conquering evil. You're in the war for heaven. I want you to never give up to win. Because you're in the war for heaven. Okay? Alright? So. Okay? So I explained that much. Um, now I'm going to explain the causes and effects of prejudice and hate, okay, versus the forces of love, okay? When you, after you deliver your soul to heaven, you become the forces of love, okay? You'll be defending love and freedom with the forces of love, okay? Uh, that goes against prejudice and hate, okay? Prejudice and hate, Trolls and cowards live in fear. They defend Satan. Okay? So that means if you live in fear, you defend Satan. If you remove your fear, you defend heaven. Okay? All right? Live in fear, you defend Satan. Remove your fear, you defend heaven. Okay? Remove your fear and corruption, you defend heaven. Re okay? Live in fear and corruption, you defend Satan. You will attack love and freedom with evil if you live in fear and corruption. You will attack the truth. You will attack heaven. And you will attack the forces of love if you live in fear. Okay? If you remove your fear, you will defend heaven and you will defend love and freedom with the forces of love. Okay? All right? You'll be defending your love, heaven, okay, while delivering your soul to heaven. That means you'll be in a war for heaven, okay? That means when you get attacked by evil, you're defending heaven, okay? Now, if this hurts or whatever, never give up to win because you're defending heaven. We want to prevent suicide, okay? All right? Okay? We want to prevent suicide. If you commit suicide, Satan wins, okay? If you commit suicide, Satan wins, okay? If you don't commit suicide and deliver your soul to heaven, 
you win, okay? When you get attacked by evil, okay? So, you get attacked by evil, Jesus Christ, love in heaven, got your back, okay? So, all right? We want you to win, and we want you to win when you die. So that means you in heaven never lose. You in heaven are at war against evil, okay? You're in the war for heaven, okay? You in heaven never lose, okay? We want you to never give up to win against evil, okay? All right, and that will increase the forces of your love. And that will keep your soul in heaven, okay? So, we want you never give up to win. You in heaven never lose, okay? You're a warrior, that's it. A good warrior never ever gives up. They kick the crap out of evil and they deliver their soul to heaven, okay? A good warrior always believes in, believes in themselves and they never ever give up to win against evil, okay? That's what a good warrior does, okay? A good warrior's got courage, okay? You got courage, okay? That's it. it this builds courage and confidence, okay? And you, you can, uh, the forces of your love is through your talents, okay? Things like that. Okay? All right, now we're going to talk about the forces of love versus evil. Okay? All right, we got prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards. Okay? That live in fear. They defend Satan. Okay? This attacks love and freedom. They attack love and freedom. You defend love and freedom with the forces of love. Okay? You defend love and freedom with the forces of love. All right? So, now... What happens is, your love's going to be strong, okay? They're going to attack you with things like, because you're going to hurt their prejudice. Your love's going to hurt their prejudice. Because your love's going to hurt their prejudice, they're going to attack you, okay? Because now you're powerful, unbreakable love. They're going to attack you. Why are they going to attack you? Because they want to break your love. Because your soul's in heaven. They're going to want to break your love. They're trying to break your love. That's why they're attacking you, okay? Because you're powerful, unbreakable love. You don't bow and break the prejudice and hate. You only bow and break to Jesus Christ's love in heaven. So they're going to attack you. With things like hate. Ball breaking. Chop breaking. The stab in the back. Prejudice attack. They're going to blame you for this. Everything's your fault. Forget about it. My reputation was totally destroyed by this. Okay? This is what I was attacked by. Okay? And it never ends. It never ends because I'm in the war for heaven. Okay? So, I was attacked by evil. Okay? After my soul entered heaven. That hurt really bad. But I never gave up to win. Jesus Christ's love in heaven had my back. The whole time. This hurt bad and I was hurt for a very long time. Okay? When I was attacked by prejudice and hate, I had panic attacks. I had anxiety. Okay? I am bipolar depressive because of this. I was hurt for a very, very long time because of this, for delivering my soul to heaven. Okay? So, just so you know, that's my past experience, okay? They're gonna attack you with hate, ball breaking, child breaking, the stab in the back, prejudice attack, okay? They're gonna blame you for this, everything is your fault. All right? They're going to try to break your love. And when they can't break your love, you're going to drive them mad. You're going to drive them mad. Yep. You're going to drive them mad. And let, let's say somebody's breaking your chops or somebody's breaking your balls. You know what you tell them? Say, hey, my soul's already in heaven. I win when I die. Okay? That's it. You tell them, I win when I die. Have a nice life. That's what you tell them. Okay? Tell them, my soul's already in heaven. I win when I die. Have a nice life. Okay? Well, you can be nasty about it. Let's say they attack you. Okay? Let's say someone's breaking your balls or your chops. Or they're trolling you or whatever. You tell them, hey, take your prejudice and hate and stick it up your butt. That's what you tell them. Okay? All right? Okay? You don't take no crap. You're defending heaven. Okay? You have every right to defend heaven. Okay? You don't take no crap. You're defending heaven. Okay? You tell them right out. 
They're the ones following Satan into the gates of hell. You follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. See, your soul's already in heaven. You know you're going to win when you die. Because your soul's already in heaven. Okay? So, you know you're going to win when you die. You can tell them to stick it. You win when you die. You follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. Okay? That's it. I'm showing you, you know, the correct way to heaven here. Okay? There's only one way to heaven. Jesus Christ, loving heaven, is trying to show you the way right now to heaven. Okay? This information is coming from Jesus Christ, love and heaven. Because my soul is in heaven. Okay? Once your soul enters heaven, you are part of heaven. You become the truth. You actually become the truth when your soul enters heaven. You may not see it all at once. It may take years of keeping your soul in heaven and never giving up to win. You got to like never give up to win. Okay? And you're against evil and your love will increase and increase and increase. Okay? When my soul entered heaven, Jesus Christ asked me to go after Satan so we can get to the truth. Jesus Christ asked me to go after Satan so we can get to the truth. Why there's no souls going to heaven. That's the truth. That's the intelligence I'm gathering. I'm gathering intelligence so we can put souls back into heaven. Okay? That's it. I'm gathering intelligence so we can put souls back into heaven and defend love and freedom with the forces of love. This will create world peace if everybody was to deliver their soul to heaven this way. This would create world peace. This is how we achieve world peace. Okay? Uh, things, uh, let me see what else. Did I miss anything? Yeah, you always believe in yourself, okay? I was attacked by a lot of evil. I, was, I got more prejudice and hate stories than Jesus Christ. Okay? I got more prejudice and hate stories than Jesus Christ. I was attacked by a lot of evil. And I was attacked by evil for a very long time, too. Okay? What happened was I was playing bass guitar. I kind of accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. I wasn't trying to deliver my soul to heaven. I was in an industry where I was being attacked by prejudice and hate constantly. I had an American dream and I never gave up to win. Okay? That, that's what happened. And that's where Satan started a war. Or evil started a war against me in heaven. Because I had an American dream and I never gave up to win. Okay? And that's where evil started a war against me in heaven. Okay? That, that's what happened. I was attacked by a lot of prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards. Okay? All right? And I was learning how to play bass guitar. And I said to myself, you know, why I was being attacked by them prejudice and hate and trolls and cowards? You know what I said to myself? I'm going to do what they say can't be done. That's what I said to myself. I wanted to be one of the best at my job. I said, I'm going to do what they say can't be done. And then I started playing bass guitar. And I was doing really good at the bass guitar. That's when my soul entered heaven. I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. No matter what I did, it was never good enough for them. They hated my guts. They always broke my balls and chops. Yep. I was always blamed for this. Everything was my fault. I couldn't pee crooked without getting in trouble. For years. This went on for years. I lived a very hard life. 
My life was a war, and it still is. My life is a war, okay? Because I'm in the war for heaven, all right? I was learning how to play bass guitar when my soul entered heaven. I was playing it so good that I, it was actually, yeah, I was playing it by ear. I wasn't looking at any other notes or nothing. Everything was memorized and I was playing it by ear. And I was doing really good. And it was sounding really good. It was very accurate, you know, I was very accurate. That's the forces of love. I was learning how to play the bass guitar with the forces of love because I believed in myself and I never gave up to win. And I did what they say couldn't be done. And my soul entered heaven. That's where Jesus Christ told me the truth. What happened to him? Then after that, I started gathering more and more and more intelligence about evil. I started seeing prejudice and hate, evil, things like that. Okay? When my soul entered heaven, I was seeing prejudice and hate, and Jesus Christ told me what happened to him when my soul entered heaven. Okay? After that is, I got fired from my job for delivering my soul to heaven. My entire life and career was destroyed for delivering my soul to heaven. That's how I know my life is a war. Okay? All right? You want to talk about discrimination? My life was destroyed for delivering my soul to heaven. Okay? You better believe this is real. This is real. Okay? My entire life and career was destroyed and my life is still a war today. Okay? Ever since I delivered my soul to heaven, I can't get a job. I can't even go on a date. You understand? You do amazing things after your soul enters heaven. You do amazing things with the forces of love. I'm singing now. I'm actually a singer entertainer. So, okay? That's what happened to me. I'm trying to tell you in the nicest way what happened to me. I got more prejudice and stories than Jesus Christ. I drove a troll completely out of his mind. I can tell you that story someday. How I drove a troll completely out of his mind with the forces of my love. Okay? So this is true. Okay? Prejudice and hate is real. Okay? And it is created from fear. Okay? Prejudice and hate is real. And it is created from fear. Okay? Fear is Satan. Satan is fear. Okay? And it's that fear and corruption that is keeping your soul out of heaven. Okay? Fear and evil is what's keeping your soul out of heaven. As long as you live in fear, you are under Satan's control. And you're going to attack the truth. You're going to attack heaven. Okay? And you're going to attack the forces of love. This is what causes the left to hate heaven. Yeah. This is what causes the radical left to hate heaven. Because they live in fear and they believe in propaganda and lies. When you believe in propaganda and lies, that's going to keep you in fear and corruption. That's going to cause you to attack the truth and heaven and the forces of love. That's going to cause you to attack love and freedom. When you live in fear and corruption, that's what causes you to attack love and freedom. This is why social things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships want to take your love and freedoms away. 
They are entities of Satan. They are entities of evil. Okay? Socialism, communism, and dictatorships are entities of evil. They want to take your love and freedoms away. Okay? Love and freedom is heaven. Okay? Love and freedom represents heaven. The forces of love, love and freedom, the forces of love represent heaven. I represent heaven. I represent Jesus Christ, love and heaven. I advocate for pure love and freedom. Okay? Satan started a war against heaven when he created fear. That's it. Fear is Satan. This spread throughout the land with civilization known as fear and corruption. This is what's keeping your souls out of heaven. Socialism, communism, dictatorships are entities of evil. This is keeping your souls out of heaven. This is taking those socialism, communism, dictatorships, take your love and freedoms away. So you never deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? Right? That's the best way I can describe that. Okay? Satan started a war against heaven a long time ago. Hit this from you. Hit this from you all this time. Hit this from you. And before Jesus could explain the truth to you, he was tortured and murdered. Because he was in a war for heaven. Okay? Jesus Christ was tortured and murdered before he could tell you how to deliver your soul to heaven. He won. How did he win? He never gave up to win against evil. That kept his soul in heaven. Because his soul was already in heaven when they tortured and murdered him. That means he won. Okay? He was tortured and murdered by prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards, because you all live in fear. You all live in fear. And when you live in fear, you defend Satan. When you remove your fear, you defend heaven. Okay? It's pretty much that simple, okay? We love you. Jesus Christ, love in heaven. We pray for you. We cheer lead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? All right? I love you. Okay? Until next week, I'll try to think of another topic. Okay? This video is going to be called How Satan Started a War Against Heaven a Long Time Ago. The Truth Explained. By J.T. Quick's Jesus Christ Love in Heaven. Okay? We love you. Jesus Christ Love in Heaven. Okay? We pray for you. We chill lead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? Never give up to win. Okay? Never give up to win. Alright? We're warriors. Okay? We never give up to win. We want you to be a warrior, okay? All right? And we love you.